Hi guys, it's Nancy Stamps for Fairy Stamper, and we're going to make an evening pond scene. Okay, so I'm going to start with actually um, my background, and then we will go into stamping our images. We are going to be using today these fireflies, the bulrushes, and the large Freddy the Frog. Okay, so we're going to put those aside for a second. I have a piece of smooth cardstock here. This is the Hammer Mill cardstock. And I'm actually going to start with a stencil. This is from Spellbinders. This is their layered full moon stencil set. So we have a perfect size stencil for the moon. You could go in and and do all of these fun things. But I'm just going to put a little bit of temporary adhesive on the back here. Just to hold that in place. While I do my uh, ink blending. So I have some distress inks here. I blueprint sketch, chip sapphire, dusty concord, and black soot. And I'm just going to use some dome um, blenders. I like these domed blenders. You can get these from scrapbook.com or Ranger, they are the same. And I'm going to start with, actually I'm gonna leave this color on here because this is a, nope, I'm not. <laughs> I'm gonna start with some blueprint sketch. And really you can use any kind of dye-based ink to do this. And I'm starting on the stencil and then just in a circular motion, moving my way off this, off the mask, I should say, not the stencil. Bristol Smooth is a great paper to use for ink blending as well. And actually for this first layer, I'm going to kind of do everything in this color. Then we're gonna move on to Chip Sapphire, which is a little bit darker blue. And just gonna kinda come in off the edges there. And we're gonna just keep darkening and adding the layers of color as we darken our edges here. Then I'm going to go in with some Dusty Concord, which is a nice dark purple. Same thing. Load up our edges. And then last but not least is our Black Soot. And I am just basically flicking that in on the outside edges. So that's pretty easy. We have our nice little background there. And I'm just going to wipe off the desk here. And I'm going to take my mask off very carefully here. All right, and there's a little adhesive left. We have a little adhesive remover eraser. Right off. Now, 
You can certainly just leave your moon like that. It's nice and bright, fun. Um, but like I said, this is part of a little stencil set. So it has little numbers for each layer. I'll just use a couple of these. And we're going to just kind of use some of the same blending brushes. We don't, you could bring in some other colors if you wanted to. I'm just gonna very lightly put some of this color down. Oh, it's sticking to where my, um, my little sticky tape was. You can see that's where the tape was, that's okay. And you basically just, you just line this up. It's really not that hard to do. I'm sure there's a right and a wrong way to do this, but I am just, at this point, just for the sake of time, just putting color down. Okay, there we have our moon, close enough. All right, so now is the fun part where we have our image, it's a nighttime sky. We wanna start adding in our, our guys here. So we have our big frog, Freddy the Frog. I'm gonna bring in my mini Misty. A little piece of sticky grid on there. And I'm just gonna use a magnet just to hold that in place right there. And we're going to put old Freddy down at the bottom like he's just checking out the moon. He's a nice big stamp. There is a smaller frog. It's called the mini frog. You can see how much smaller it is. But we, we want Freddy right here, front and center. Actually, I'm going to move my panel all the way up. This way we get full view of Freddy. All right. And I'm going to stamp him in a nice dark green. We have Rainforest from Versifying Claire. Nice deep green. He looks fabulous. All right, we're done with him. And then we will color in his open spots in just a moment. And then we're gonna finish off by adding him some dinner for him. So that's real easy to do. I'm going to add these bulrushes in the background. I'm just going to take a stamping block for them because they're kind of big silhouette images in the background. And I'm just going to use some Versifying Claire for those guys. I don't stamp over him. I'm going to just take a little piece of masking tape. Just put a little 
little bit right here over his back. Okay, so now it looks like he's in front of the little bull rushes. And then we gotta give him dinner. We can't just let him hang out without any dinner. So we're gonna add these little fireflies. Same thing, gonna use that VersaFine Claire. I believe all three of them are the same. I don't think there really is any difference in size. Or design or anything. Okay. And now the fun part is just to color everything in. So I'm just going to take the heat tool to this and set it real quick so that we know our ink is all dry. And again, just want to wipe the table to make sure we don't get any ink smudges on anything. And all we have to do now is just color them in. And I'm going to use some color pencils. Actually, no, I've got a better idea. I'm gonna use my a gel pens because the gel pens just pop on everything. So I am gonna start with a bright yellow marker and very carefully try not to touch that black ink because it will smudge with this kind of alcohol marker. Okay, so very little of that. And then I'm gonna take my, my green gel pens here and I have all different brands. The ones I do like are these Pentel Sparkle Pens, but um, the, Sakura, the Sakura gel pens are really nice as well. So just use what you have. What's neat about these gel pens is they have a little bit of glitter and a little bit of shimmer in them. So in a certain light, they do tend, the color tends to pop, which is pretty neat. And I'm going to color him in this nice dark green. And you have this shimmer, you have this glitter, it's nice and opaque and bright. And I would imagine if you are near this little pond at night with a full moon, you might catch glimpses of some glistening frogs belting out some bullfrog melodies. And 
And if you've never heard of Fairy Hug Stamps before, definitely urge you to go check them out. They are made right here in the United States. Their shipping is super fast. Check out the videos from some of the other design team members over at the Fairy Hugs YouTube channel. Make sure you are subscribed. But they have a lot of beautiful stamps. Of course, you can leave them as is or stamp them, color them in. They also pair very well if you have any other fairies or gnomes or nature stamps. They're very fun, very mystical. And all I'm doing is just taking this gel pen and filling in all of these areas. It's really, really easy to do. No um, real artistic ability needed to color these in, which I don't have. I do not have the time to color. I hate coloring. So doing something simple like this with a very nice solid image makes it easier for me. I like it. And I'm just filling in all these little dots. I guess these would be his warts. <laughs> Frog bumps. And I'm going to leave his eye alone for a second. We'll come back to that. Okay, he looks pretty cool. I'm gonna take some of these brighter lime green colors and color in our little wings of our little bugs because they are kind of like a lime green color, right, when they light up. Maybe some more gold, this guy here. All right, it's pretty cool. And a little bit of brown. I will just dot the top of these bulrushes, give them a little bit of texture. Okay. Now, I don't like how it does kind of look like he's he's floating in air, so we're going to fix that real quick. Just have a little piece of torn paper right here, and I'm just going to kind of put that down at the bottom of the ground here where he's at. I'm going to take my, my little um, sponge applicator, and I'm just going to sponge that area a little bit. Okay, so now he's kind of resting a little bit on the ground. It's not so in the air looking, I should say. There we go. So now he looks like he's in the ground. If you wanted to add even more pizzazz to this, take a little bit of shimmer pen, put a couple of spots of shimmer on the moon. Of course, you could do the whole moon if you wanted to. And then we're done. All we have to do now is put it on a card base, and we are finished. Oh, no, 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 we're not finished. I wanted to put a little glow in his eyes. I'm going to do a little bit of gold in here.
Now we're finished. Okay. So now we have Freddy the Frog out in the wilderness, catching himself some dinner under the full moon. Check it out. If you have any questions, post them down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing to Fairy Stamper by clicking the bottom do button down below. If you have any questions, post them below. I will link everything for you down in the description. Thanks for watching and keep on stamping. Bye-bye.